Hello and welcome to today's video. My name is Christian here at Codeware and I want to talk about how we can determine what the maximum nozzle loads that are allowed for a nozzle designed and compress. Now this question often comes up in our support, someone trying to determine what is the maximum load they can apply to their nozzle and I want to talk about some of the tools that are available within Compress uh, to run this type of analysis. Now because we're looking at multiple loads and bending moments being applied to the nozzle, there's not a discrete way to solve for what the maximum nozzle load would be. However, by using some of the solvers that we have, we can take a baseline loading and determine what a maximum uh, load value or bending moment can be for one of those applied loads. And we'll talk about that a little bit more in detail. Uh, but to do that, I want to use this example vessel that I have here on the screen. And we're going to be applying a nozzle load to nozzle N1 that you can see here on your screen. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And we're going to select this nozzle. So I'll select my nozzle N1. And I'm going to skip over this first page and we'll go to the next. Now here, I'll go to the bottom of my page and select WRC, Local Stress. This is going to bring up our menu for the WRC 537. The WRC is the Welding Research Council and what we're doing is looking at the local stress being applied to the shell due to um, bending moments and uh, forces being applied to this nozzle. Now the first thing that we're going to do is name this load case. So I'll go up and select our load case 1. We can call this our operating condition. All right, um, and then the next thing we're going to need to do is discuss what our nozzle loadings are going to be uh, down below. So um, maybe you have an attachment or some piping, and um, if there's some thermal expansion, maybe there's going to be uh, you know a radial load, maybe based on where your pipe supports are, um, the weight of that pipe may be causing a bending moment or a shear force. So that's something that you're going to need to discuss with your client. Um, however, we do have some standard nozzle loads that you can use within the software. So if I go up here to my standard nozzle loads, we have those nozzle loads that are coming from API 660. Now, if your organization has their own data set, you are able to upload that into the software to be able to reference here. Now, I'm going to add in my forces and moments here. Alright, great. So now we have a starting point. You can see that the software has started calculating our primary circumferential stress as well as the primary longitudinal stress as well as our combined stress. And what we're doing is, is we're going to be comparing that to our allowable stress. Now, based on this load case, we can determine using a solver here within the software what our maximum radial load can be, either um, you know, loaded radially in towards the center of the vessel or uh, externally away from the center of the vessel, as well as our bending moments in the circumferential and longitudinal uh, direction. So if I select my radial load here, PR, the solver is going to determine what load here at the top can be applied to the nozzle. Um, and basically the software is going to be iterating through uh, this value until our combined stress is equal to our combined allowable stress. So now that I've solved for that value, I can go down and turn uh, that back to no solving. And now we've, you know, analyzed this load case. Um, you can iterate through this manually if you'd like by um, trying different loading conditions. You can also look at multiple loading conditions side by side by adding a new load case. Um, using the button here. Within the software, we're only going to report that governing load case. However, if you want to see all those load cases within your report, you can turn off this checkbox. Now we're simply done uh, solving for that maximum load here. Uh, all we have to do is hit OK, OK, and now you can see that we've applied those forces and moments to that nozzle as indicated by the blue arrows. 
I hope that you found this video useful. If you have any questions or would like to see a detailed demonstration, please email sales at codeword.com or give us a call today at 941-927-2670 and we'd be happy to answer your questions. Thank you for watching and have a great day.